everybody, welcome back to Food of Dad Cubed. Right, today I'm gonna to make you a lovely prune and almond tart. It is gorgeous. Let me show the ingredients. Right, here we go, here's the ingredients. This is the ingredients for the pastry bit here. So first of all, we've got some plain flour, some castor sugar, a bit of vanilla extract, some butter, and an egg. And that's it. Just mix it all together, it makes a lovely, lovely pastry. Right, okay, first things first, get me old, get me old processor. I haven't got a better processor I've got, but it does. <laughs> Put a flour in, the old processor. Be jubbly. To make the pastry, by the way. A little bit over there, just to make effect. To make it look like it's snowing or something. To make it nice, I think. <laughs> that goes in, butter goes in with it. You know what you're doing. If you're interested in my things, you just, this got to be, you make it look like breadcrumbs, isn't it, really? Just, when you put it in, if it looks like breadcrumbs, we're on their way. Here we go. Push. Beautiful, mixed in gorgeous. Right, on top of that, we put the sugar. Sugar goes in. The old egg yolk pops in now. And a bit of vanilla. Gorgeous. Back in again. Wash it again. Have your butchers. It's nice. If you think it's a bit dry after all that, put a little teeny bit of water in, but make it cold, yeah? Make it really cold all up. Right, so beautiful. So just put it into the clean film. Now she's got to do that. Put it in the fridge now for about half an hour. Let it all go together, yeah? Then we're going, I'm going to show you there how to make the old filling. Right, here we go. This is the ingredients, yeah? We've got some brandy there. Nice bit of brandy. I've had about 50,000 years, I think. <laughs> some cast of sugar, some almonds then, the dill ground almonds, some prunes, double cream, uh, vanilla extract, a couple of eggs, and some butter. And this all goes together. makes a lovely, lovely filling for our tart. Right, first things first, get yourself a nice tart dish. Or a dish, really. I've done long enough this one. Just put a bit of flour, a bit of butter around it, and it just seals it all nicely. Perfect. This is coming in the fridge about half an hour to an hour. We can this, put this out, roll it out, and bosh it into the tin. Then we're going to make the old stuff to go in the middle of it. All right, let's do that next. But well, there we go, roll it into there. Just take a bit of time here. Don't forget to put a couple of the old holes in the bottom there, stop it, post stuff in the middle, whatever I'm trying to say. Try to make it nice and smooth. Right, now this, once it's done, put this in the freezer now, or in the fridge. You put it in the fridge, do it about 45 minutes, in the freezer about a quarter of an hour, okay? So stick this in the freezer, and we're gonna make the old stuff that's gonna go in it. Let's do it. The filling, that's what I'm gonna say. The filling. Right, here we go then. First of all, get the prunes, put them into the brandy, and put them on the stove, and let them just come to a little simmer, yeah? And when you simmer, don't boil them, a little simmer, and turn them off, and stick them to the side for about 40 minutes, something like 45 minutes. Let all the juices go in, let all the brandy go in, yeah? Which is what I've done here. And these all get laid out in a case and it, when, the, when the pastry's done, it looks beautiful, yeah? And you need a little bit of liquor at the bottom, a little bit of brandy, with all the juices of the fruit, that goes into it as well, all right? So this goes to one side. All right, so get some nice mixing bowl. Just wiki, 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 wiki. First things first, boss the ultra eggs in. Goes in there, give a little whisk. Beautiful. Into that goes the vanilla extract. Little pour. Right in with the old almonds. Cream. Sugar goes in. And that's what I've done is I've melted down the butter and that's gonna go in as well. So a nice bit of melted butter. And the stuff that um, the prunes was cooked in, that's all that. It's just a lovely little juice in that go in there as well. You just whisk this all together. Oh, it smells divine. It smells divine only if you like brandy, of course. You know what I mean? I love brandy. Keep it stirring this until all sugar starts to melt. And it's, you can tell it's, it's granulated, you know what I mean? Until it's still grains in there. Just keep on whisking it. Right, so that's what you look at. Nice consistency. Just like a, a custard, I suppose, isn't it? You know what I mean? A bit of a custard. All right, that's that done. It goes to one side. Get a quarter of an hour for the, the case. So bring the case back out again. That's what we've got to do there is just Put the prunes round, so they're nice. So it makes a nice pattern, really. It's usually a nice pattern, isn't it? So just get the prunes, put them on, a <coughs> on the sides, and just bring them round. So you make a nice little circle. There may be a little circle in the middle. So how many prunes you got, yeah? So wash these out first of all, then we'll stick this in the oven, or we'll put a custard and stick it in the oven. 
Right, let's make a nice pretty pattern. But here we go, this is my little pretty thing. I'm sure you could do better, as I always say. Yeah, once it's done like that, just get the, the stuff, the filling, and just pour it over the top of it. Just gonna fill it up. The old filling, like the old custard, it just goes in. Gorgeous. Oh, that should do lovely. Perfect. Right, that goes in the oven now. An undulated sieve for about, about half an hour. Keep eye on it, yeah? Right, there we go. All done. Beautiful. Hot, Steve. Don't touch it, it's cracking on your breath. Right, let it cool right down now. Let it cool really, really down. If I give it a chop, get it out, and get a taste. <clears throat> right, this is the best bit, the tasting. Mm, smells divine. Let's have a go. Oh. oh, that is lovely. Oh, really, really lovely. Mm. The fruit, see I love brandy. Oh. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, try this. You don't have to use brandy by the way, you put anything in. You could put just a, a like a, um, a, you know, fruit juice in, something like that. It worked just the same, all right? I like brandy. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Okay, right, the first thing you have to do, you get the plums, the plums. <laughs> right, I guess that again. Right, first thing you do, you get the prune, prune, prunes, 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 one more. Right, first thing you do, you get the prawns. Prawns? 